So, <coughs> I'm going to switch out this uh, reservoir tank, change the nutrients. I'm all, yeah, I'll get home from work, I'll get that done. Well, I just discovered I made one of the, <laughs> the lamest freaking mistakes I could have made. I didn't put a damn turnbull in the bottom of my reservoir tank. So I've got no valve to turn to drain it. Everything else is working great. Yeah, go. Yeah. So anyway, you guessed it. I'm siphoning it out through a hole in the floor over there. <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> this will be cool. Anyway, I guess I got to do it, huh? Jeez. <sighs> yeah, I don't really want a big gulp of this stuff. Tastes good. Woo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> General hydroponic nutrients. <laughs> that tastes like shit. Okay, got that out of my mouth. <laughs> it's kind of funky. <laughs> anyway, I know some of you are thinking, okay, well, dude, why don't you just pump it out with the pump that you got in there? Well, the pump that I got in there pumps from the top of the pump. And I got her setting up two inches off the bottom, too, for vibration dampening. Just because this floor uh, seems to act like a guitar box sometimes, and just depending on where things are on it. Like, I've had to move some of my air stones and some of the tanks because, yeah, it just seemed to uh, resonate. It drove me nuts. So, uh, Anyway, that's why I got to do it this way. So, at the end of the season, I got to take all these apart anyway to clean the hydroton and everything. I, I'll just rebuild this baby. Depending on how nuts I go with doing this, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can do this <laughs> until the end of the summer. This kind of sucks. It really sucks bad. Unless I can figure out a way to just pump it right off the bottom. I'll check that out. Anyway, so I got my nutrients mixed up and uh, yeah, I'm gonna add them in. <laughs> Woo! Okay, exactly. this thing's done siphoning. <coughs> Get rid of this guy. So, uh, what I did is I mixed up the nutrients ahead of time before I discovered that I screwed up on the tank. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. So, uh, this one's nutrients, this one's water. I doubled up the strength of the nutrients in this one. Figuring, split them in half, and I'll get what I want in there. And, uh, yeah. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. Very, very exciting moment. Hold on to your seats. <laughs> I'll give it a rest here. Yeah, I know, it's, it's like exciting, right? I, I'm a, yeah, I'm a, I'd be on the edge of my seat. Yeah. Bucket number two. Yeah, oh, look at her go. There you go. Man. That was like an amazing ride. Yeah, maybe not. I was just pouring some notes. But anyway, that's how we do it. What we'll do now is just make sure to check out the TDS. Total dissolved solids. Ooh, that's another thing I learned. That sounds pretty impressive, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, parts per million. And then I'll uh, check the pH and fire it back up and then we'll be done. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's it. Got the exciting nutrient thing into the reservoir and uh, now I'm going to double check my parts per million with my 
little handy dandy blue lab <laughs> parts per million unit here. And, uh, a thousand parts per million. <coughs> this thing's really cool. You stick it in, and I don't know if you can see it, but the little diodes there are blinking and popping around. It's pretty cool. Just tells you right away. And uh, gotta check the pH. With freshly calibrated pH meter. <laughs> Another 75 bucks. <laughs> yeah. This guy, over 100. And uh, so uh, I'm checking her out here, seeing what this pH says. And uh, boom, she's dropping way down. Uh, it'll probably drop out to 4.3. And uh, exactly where it went. 4.2. <laughs> All right. So that's like way low. Way low. So what I'm going to do is I, I got some dry pH up from General Hydroponics. Really awesome. Man, I like it way better than that liquid stuff. Way better. So uh, what I do is I just take a little bit of nutrient solution there and throw it in there and it's like this is not a big measurement or nothing uh, I'm guessing based on how much it took last week to get her up so uh, yeah. pop a little in there and I stir it with my <laughs> I let her just kind of ease on around a little bit. The, the uh, air stone on the bottom just kind of keeps everything circulated. <clears throat> so in a few minutes, uh, it's all kind of in there, balanced, uh, knows what it's doing, and, uh, and it's all good. And uh, yeah, it's kind of that for that, I think. We'll see, uh, we'll see what the pH is in a couple of minutes. Anyway, yeah. Okay. We mixed all that stuff in there and then found out I needed more. So anyway, that's what I was doing in between, rather than put you through that much excitement because this does make your heart pound. Uh, anyway, I put more in, mixed her all around, take another reading. I'm thinking it should be up there by, by six. 5.8. I'm good with that. That's good. Because I'm trying to achieve 5.5. And uh, messing with this tank, in each one of these, there's, there's about that much water in the bottom. It hasn't circulated. So, when I turn this back on, that winds up being part of this, so the levels kind of always drop a little bit. pH gets a little bit, kind of, well, not a great deal, but, but it changes. Parts per million change, so I just got to come out and uh, check it again after it's been running for an hour or two or whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, yeah, pretty much my whole thing there for today. Definitely gonna put a drain in the bottom of this reservoir. That's crazy. Anyway, the tomatoes are doing really good. And uh, the kitchen buckets seem to be working real well. Alright. Well, we do miss that, Paul G. And see you later, everybody.